right back. So I'm doing a practice review. Okay, got the clip right here. Put that out. There's the main dark blaster. Plastic. If you're wondering why I like this knife, this is the reason why. It opens up bags fast. Regardless what you guys think. Huh. Wow, it's a pump action shotgun style. I'm already liking this. Stock. Could use some reinforcement. Instructions. Don't worry about those later. Got discs. Check this. This right off the bat. The clip one goes in one way. And uh, yep, that's the clip release right there. And it's on both sides. Tack rail on top. Ooh, nice. Uh, ooh. ooh, definitely faster than the Vigilant for fire rate so far. No, well, not fire rate, uh, speed, but. Uh, I am uh, still definitely liking the pump action feature. I've wanted that on most of my Nerf guns. I'm going to be doing that to a couple of my Nerf guns most likely. Probably a, a long strike coming up. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Yep, will not fire if there's no ammo in the clip. Good to know. So I'll have to make sure I carry a slot for always one extra backup disc. Let's see, a uh, clip release. Uh, Disc release if it misfires should be right there. So, yep, works great. Can't dry fire it. So it means I still need to load in some sort of disc. Okay. Okay. If you're wondering what just happened, I dropped the clip and went to retrieve it. Don't want you guys to see my face. I'm still like a bit like crack. Okay. So apparently you still need to reprime it every time you drop that clip. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have shot that. Blast it. Okay, cut. Okay, I'm just going to reload up the rest of the ammo since I got it. And this blast is relatively fast to fire. I'll be testing the ranges in approximately 3, 2, 1. Okay, apparently these discs like to bank a little bit, which is okay in some cases, but not great in my book because uh, I still like darts to go really, really straight. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, seems like a good gun. Ooh, like a stock. Still need some reinforcement on the stock. Wow. Okay, so now, dude, thanks to the dual-sided clips on the stock, it's now a lot harder to pull off. And usually, like, the one-sided thing, I might uh, modify that to do that. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. Praxis, done, reviewed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want any mods for this, suggest something, because I got none. Guys, finished the review on the Praxis. I actually like the anti-dry fire feature. Whereas most thing, most guns, if you have the no clip, you can just prime it, cock it, and just fire. Dry fire feature after you remove the locks and such. I'm actually gonna leave that in because I actually like that feature. Because that way, it, that way, even if I'm fully empty on all my ammo, I'll actually know it. Where I actually have a clip that I've actually modified that actually lets me know when I'm out of ammo. So that way I can just reload immediately to the next clip and anti not dry fire my guns by accident. And it's also a nice little feature because then I don't have to worry so much damaging the gun, injuring the gun. Excuse me for a moment. Pause. Yeah, I still don't like, let, like letting you guys see my face. Anyway, if you guys got any questions for me, uh, feel free to get back to me. Uh, I'm not really sure. 
I mean, I'm excited about these guns, but they still s seem to fly slower than standard darts. Uh, don't get me wrong, if the clip drops on you, which is nice, uh, definitely I get work that into my other guns. Pump action feature, I like that. Might trim down this bit right here, just for a little better grip. But other than that, I can't really see much wrong with it. Um, I'll let you know in the future if I do find something wrong with it. And I did figure out what was wrong with my whiteout blaster. I had too many pennies behind the spring, which was causing it to slip out around everything, which was very, very bad. I couldn't let that happen. All the air was escaping around it, and it wasn't going through the dart and pushing it out. So that you guys can worry, not stop worrying about the emergency notice. I might post the second part to it and fix it. Uh, let me just get around to it.